Isekai is a kind of fantasy anime where a protagonist transported or reborn from the realm they know to an unknown one. Typically, the Isekai series will place a character in a magical realm of fantasy, though hardly it appears in reverse. In current years, there has been a huge influx of Isekai anime, somewhat due to the worldwide fame of Sword Art Online. However, this Isekai anime list will not cover SAO. Rather, we will concentrate on other fantasy anime that is, dare we say, more enjoyable than SAO. Here are 10 isekai anime titles that approach the isekai genre in unique and innovative ways. Before you continue, please click on the subscribe button below this video and press the bell icon for regular updates. Welcome to our channel. Today we bring you the list of top isekai anime of 2020. Number 10 is Another World With My Smartphone. In Another World With My Smartphone is an anime television series based on the Japanese light novel series of the same name. It is about Toyo Mochizuki, who is resurrected in another world after God accidentally kills him. Fifteen-year-old Toyo Mochizuki is unintentionally killed by God. As an excuse, God lets him be resurrected, but since he cannot send him back to his old world, he instead reincarnates him into a fantasy world along with a single special request. Toya uses his request to bring his smartphone into the new world with him, which God alters. As such, while Toya cannot contact his old world with it, the phone can be easily recharged by magic and can otherwise function, such as accessing data from the old world and can use relevant features for his new world, such as the GPS function, to locations which are comprehensively identified on. It. Number 9 is Sword Art Online. Is Sword Art Online really an isekai anime? The answer is a big yes. Not just your typical one, but definitely one of the best isekai anime of all time. With its action-packed adventure that is set in a virtual gaming world, you can get captivated by its youthful vibe. Give it a try. Sword Art Online is one of the most trending anime right now. Since its inception due to the rise of sites like Netflix, it has created a huge following. Sword Art Online in the last few years has created one of the biggest fandoms in the world. It has a premise like Overlord, but what sets it apart is the way it develops its characters. The characters are what make this anime amazing and special. Kazuto Kirito Kirigaya and Asuna Yuki, the two protagonists of the anime, are unique and have a lot of depth to their personality. Number 8 is Konosuba. Perhaps it was Konosuba's humor and gag that made this it land on the list of the best series under the isekai genre. Expect a lot of laughter since every character has their own defining gimmick, let alone Kazuma Satao. This isekai parody started out as a web novel, so if you are interested, it is readily available for watching. Konosuba, God's Blessing on This Wonderful World, is an anime series adapted from a light novel of the same name. A manga adaptation illustrated by Mosahito Watari and Joseph Yokobori was serialized in Fujimi Shobo's Monthly Dragon Age magazine from October 2014. An anime adaptation was commissioned and released from 13th January to March 16, 2017. It was directed by Takeyomi Kanasaki and written by Makoto Uetsu, with characters designed by Koichi Kikuta. The anime shows beautifully how friendship can transform and change everything. Number 7 is Death March to the Parallel World Rhapsody. Knowing that you are a 29-year-old programmer in real life, what would you do if one day you woke up in a fantasy world of RPG trapped in a body of a 15-year-old? If stories like that tickle your fancy, then Death March to the Parallel World Rhapsody would really be one of the best isekai anime for you. It is one of the anime series that features the game world. This anime contains an interesting blend of fantasy and adventure. The characterization and the well-knit plot of this anime make it the favorite of the viewers. You will feel the game world coming into life as the plot starts brewing. Death March to the Parallel World Rhapsody is based on a Japanese light novel series written by Hiro Ariana. This anime holds the essence of an adventure story that has all strong characters. Number 6 is Wise Man's Grandchild. Wise Man's Grandchild just proves to us that nothing is coincidental in life. Who would have thought that a genius computer programmer and machine specialist could use his knowledge in another world of knights and magic? This series was voted by our community as one of the best isekai anime. Watch now! A young salaryman who died in an accident was reborn in another world filled with magic and demons. As a baby, he was picked up by the patriot hero Sage Merlin Wolford and was given the name Shin. He was raised as a grandson and soaked up Merlin's teachings, earning him some irresistible powers. Nevertheless, when Shin became 15, Merlin realized, I forgot to teach him common sense. Museum, king of the Earlshide Kingdom, recommends Shin to attend his magic academy, 
on the agreement of not using Shin for political warfare. In the capital, Shin rescues two girls, Maria and Cezilien, from thugs, and later he would inaugurate a club that consists of him and others. Number five is how not to summon a demon lord. Filled with ekchi humor conflated with elements of the best isekai anime, How Not to Summon a Demon Lord, also known as Isekai Mao or Shokan Shouju or Dorei Majutsu, is an anime series that centers around Takuma Sakamoto as he gets transported into his favorite MMORPG game. If you loved Overlord, you'll definitely love this too. How Not to Summon a Demon Lord, a light novel series, was announced to receive an anime adaptation in January 2018. The first season, aired in 2018, was directed by Yuta Murano and written by Kazuyuki Furiyasu, with animation by Studio Ajiodo Animation Works. It has been renewed for a second season. The series follows Takumo Sakamoto, a hikikomori gamer who is mysteriously transported to the virtual world of his favorite MMORPG, Cross Reverie with the appearance of his own character in the game, the Demon Lord Diablo. Number four is No Game, No Life. Sora and Shiro are two Hikikomori step-siblings who are known in the online gaming world as Blank, an unbeaten group of gamers. One day, they are challenged to a game of chess by Tet, a god from another reality. The two are successful and are offered to live in a world that centers around games. They accept, considering it to be a joke, and are summoned to a reality known as Disboard. There, a spell known as the Ten Pledges limits the citizens of Discord from causing harm to one another, forcing them to settle their differences by playing with games whose rules and rewards are magically enforced. Number three is that time I got reincarnated as a slime. That time I got reincarnated as a slime is one of the most trending anime right now. The anime's diehard fans are eagerly waiting for its next season to drop by 2021. It was first aired on October 2nd, 2018 and ran for 24 episodes. It has been commissioned for a second season which will air in two parts. The anime follows Sotoro Mikami, a lonely 37 years old guy stuck in a dead end job and is unhappy with his mundane life. One day tragedy befalls him and he meets his death by a robber. It is this misfortune that changes everything for him as he resurrects into a slime monster. He gains certain abilities as a slime monster, the most important of which is Predator. It allows him to devour anything and mimic its appearance and skills, something that makes for some hilarious antics and sequences. Number 2 is Overlord. In the year 2126, a dive massively multiplayer online role-playing game or MMORPG called YGGDRASIL was released. After an intense 12-year run, the game servers are about to be shut down. Within the game exists a guild, Ainz Ual Gaon, once consisting of 41 members and credited as one of the strongest guilds in the game. Now only four of the members remain, the other 37 have quit the game, and only one, a skeletal overlord character named Mamanga, continues to play as the guild leader, maintaining their headquarters in the Great Tomb of Nazarick. In the minutes before the shutdown, he invites the remaining guild members. When the shutdown time arrives, Mamanga finds that the game hasn't vanished. Instead, it appears as if YGGDRASIL has been recreated as its reality along with its various NPCs having been brought to life. Number one is the rising of the shield hero. Neofumi Iwatani, a young student, was gathered into a parallel world along with three other young men from parallel universes to become the world's cardinal heroes and fight interdimensional hordes of monsters called Waves. Each of the heroes was respectively equipped with their legendary gear when summoned. Neofumi happened to get the legendary shield, the sole defensive equipment, while the other heroes received a sword, a spear, and a bow, weapons meant for attack. Unlike other heroes who are fully supported by the kingdom and gain several strong allies each, Neofumi's luck turns to the worst after his single companion, revealed to be the kingdom's princess, tricks him, steals all his belongings, and leaves him devoid of all assistance and supplies after she falsely accuses him of sexually assaulting her. Hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down which isekai anime you like the most.